y'all welcome to memphis tennessee like the title says we are headed downtown okay where you're gonna see la Bonner's hospital we're gonna go down by the river you're gonna see bass pro shop there's um a fedex forum down there you got bill street you have a whole lot of restaurants a lot of hotels a lot of things that you need and don't need just everything you want to see and not see is downtown so that's where we're gonna go all right so come on ride with me put your seatbelt on buckle up if this your first time here what we do is ride through these different towns and we go in and capture different areas you know like i'm going downtown so i'm going to record everything that's going on down there just so y'all can see what it looks like if you don't and if you do I mean, watch it again. You haven't seen what it looked like on this day. Um, thank you for being here. You could be anywhere else, but you decide to ride with me. Let's go. So, why am I in Memphis and not Mississippi? Well, we had to switch it up a little bit. Y'all probably tired of Mississippi anyway, so we had to come up here to Big Memphis, see what's going on. We're going to get back to Mississippi at some point. We're going to record Senatobia, Horn Lake, uh, places like that. So, Hernando, we haven't forgot about those places, but we had to come up here, see what's going on on this beautiful day, all right? Memphis is a very nice place to be. You take away the crime. Cause it has a lot of crime a whole lot of crime but if you take that away it's one of the best places to be memphis got a lot of job opportunities available entertainment is amazing you have a whole bunch of food choices and when you get tired of the brick and mortar they have food trucks all over the city i mean you can catch the views from different places like the bass pro shop you know all these rooftops and other places nice parks go out there watch the sunset you can know it's like I said, it's all type of activities out here. You can get into uh, a lot of different places to shop. You, I mean, you just can't get tired of that, right? Well, you know, it's out here for you if you want to be out here in the mix, okay? Live music, just so much. You won't get bored in Memphis, Tennessee. But I will say you have to find um, your place. Like you have to find a place that you feel comfortable with. And you can maneuver fairly well up here. Now, me personally, if you've been watching the channel, you know I was born and raised in Mississippi. But I've been in Memphis since about 2007, and that is a very long time. Up until about three years ago, I moved back to Mississippi intentionally, and then I stayed for good reason, uh, which I'm glad I did. But now we're back in Memphis. Memphis feels like home and I, I think i needed that break from memphis because i think if you consistently stay here and um i, I think within the thing you kind of get tired of it and and so if you like me you like to like wander off from time to time um a break from things is really needed but people who were born and raised here i see a lot of them talking about moving away from memphis so it can be a toxic space for a lot of people it really just depends on the area that you're in the lifestyle that you live in um your personality some people just love to travel at heart and it's just gonna be in them okay but yeah when you come up here that's all i'm saying be careful of your surroundings don't trust everybody but don't be scared to live now, I will say, if I didn't like to check in on the moms so much, then I probably would go to another diverse state, and it probably would be farther out. Maybe Texas, maybe a little farther, who knows. But at this point, we're just going to stay here, and wherever we want to go, we're just going to visit there and come back. How about that? <laughs> Since we're just riding and talking, I will tell y'all what happened when I first moved up here. Uh, with my own eyes, I saw a couple things take place. One was I saw a man get robbed at the gas station. It was an older gentleman, younger guy. And I was fighting with myself. You know, I was just standing there kind of rocking back and forth. Should I help? Should I mind my business? And, and it was very painful. But I had to mind my business because, you know, I could have went over there and got my life taken or something like that. You know, just anything could have happened. And I just, so I said, let me mind my business. And 
that's what I did. And then on the on another occasion, two other occasions, I was at a park, same park, and I seen some people cars get broken into. So one of the guys came up, broke the window, went in the trunk. He's all in the car looking. The person is out there walking. They don't see what's going on. So I'm sitting there. Did I do anything? Absolutely not. Mind them. I just learned to mind my business. And I saw it a second time at that same park. So I said, you know, we're not coming back out here. Um, <clears throat> I probably shouldn't have went back after that time. But that that sort of thing happens up here. But to see it with your own eyes, it, it just be like, oh, my God. What are you doing? Why? So, all your important things, don't leave it in your car. Okay? And um, keep insurance on your car. Okay? So, Again, like I said, don't be scared of Memphis. Live your life. Pray. If if that's your thing, pray. And enjoy yourself. But now, we're over here at Bass Pro Shop. And um, a lot of people come out here to, you know, enjoy themselves. They have a bowling alley in here. They have a hotel in here with, like, cabins and things like that. One day, I'm going to go in here and spend the night. You know, I've looked it up before, and I'm like, uh-uh. We're not paying that crazy price to stay up in there. But one day, I might. I might just do that. Just for the experience.
y'all may or may not hear a loud horn in the background so it's not on your side So, you got to be careful downtown. People will walk out in front of you. Like, I had a lady. The light was green. I was going. She walked, slept in front of me. I didn't get it on camera. Well, I did, but I couldn't. Walked right in front of me with her head down. I don't know where her mind was, but I understood. Slowed down. She realized it. She was like, sorry. And she kept going. So, yeah, be careful if you ever come to Memphis downtown. So this little part right here, I had to cut the volume off uh, where I put it on no sound because they're playing blues right now and I don't want to strike on the channel. So you're going to hear silence for just a second. And so this is Bill Street right here.
I do hope y'all enjoyed this drive in downtown Memphis. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Okay, y'all be safe out here in these streets.